Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Akmal Chowdhury. In this video we will explain what Hadoop and Big Data are. Imagine this scenario. You have one gigabyte of data that you need to process. The data are stored in a relational database in your desktop computer and this desktop computer has no problem handling this load. Then your company starts growing very quickly and that data grows to 10 gigabytes and then 100 gigabytes and you start to reach the limits of your current desktop computer. So you scale up by investing in a larger computer and you're then okay for a few more months when your data grows to 10 terabytes and then 100 terabytes and you are fast approaching the limits of that computer. Moreover, you are now asked to feed your application with unstructured data coming from sources like Facebook, Twitter, RFID readers, sensors, and so on. Your management wants to derive information from both the relational data and the unstructured data and wants this information as soon as possible. What should you do? Hadoop may be the answer. Hadoop is an open source project of the Apache Foundation. It is a framework written in Java originally developed by Doug Cutting who named it after his son's toy elephant. Hadoop uses Google's MapReduce and Google File System technologies as its foundation. It is optimized to handle massive quantities of data which could be structured, unstructured or semi-structured using commodity hardware that is relatively inexpensive computers. This massive parallel processing is done with great performance. However, it is a batch operation handling massive quantities of data so the response time is not immediate. As of Hadoop version 0.20.2, .2, updates are not possible, but appends will be possible starting in version 0.21. Hadoop replicates its data across different computers so that if one goes down, the data are processed on one of the replicated computers. Hadoop is not suitable for online transaction processing workloads where data are randomly accessed on structured data like a relational database. Hadoop is not suitable for online analytical processing or decision support system workloads where data are sequentially accessed on structured data like a relational database to generate reports that provide business intelligence. Hadoop is used for big data. It complements online transaction processing and online analytical processing. It is not a replacement for a relational database system. So what is big data? With all the devices available today to collect data such as RFID readers, microphones, cameras, sensors and so on, we are seeing an explosion in data being collected worldwide. Big data is a term used to describe large collections of data, also known as data sets, that may be unstructured and grow so large and quickly that it is difficult to manage with regular database or statistics tools. Other interesting statistics providing examples of this data explosion are there are more than 2 billion internet users in the world today and 4.6 billion mobile phones in 2011 and 7 terabytes of data are processed by Twitter every day and 10 terabytes of data are processed by Facebook every day. Interestingly, approximately 80% of these data are unstructured. With this massive quantity of data, businesses need fast, reliable, deeper data insight. Therefore, big data solutions based on Hadoop and other analytics software are becoming more and more relevant. This is a list of other open source projects related to Hadoop. Eclipse is a popular IDE donated by IBM to the open source community. Lucene is a text search engine library written in Java. HBase is the Hadoop database. Hive provides data warehousing tools to extract, transform and load data and query this data stored in Hadoop files. PIG is a platform for analyzing large data sets. It is a high level language for expressing data analysis. JAQL or Jackal is a query language for JavaScript open notation. Zookeeper is a centralized configuration service and naming registry for large distributed systems. Avro is a data serialization system. UIMA is the architecture for the development, discovery, composition and deployment for the analysis of unstructured data. Let's now talk about examples of Hadoop in action. Early in 2011, Watson, a supercomputer developed by IBM, competed in the popular question and answer show Jeopardy. 
Watson was successful in beating the two most popular players in that game. It was input approximately 200 million pages of text using Hadoop to distribute the workload for loading this information into memory. Once the information was loaded, Watson used other technologies for advanced search and analysis. In the telecommunications industry, we have China Mobile, a company that built a Hadoop cluster to perform data mining on call data records. China Mobile was producing 5 to 8 terabytes of these records daily. By using a Hadoop-based system, they were able to process 10 times as much data as when using their old system and at one-fifth of the cost. In the media, we have the New York Times, which wanted to host on their website all public domain articles from 1851 to 1922. They converted articles from 11 million image files to 1.5 terabytes of PDF documents. This was implemented by one employee who ran a job in 24 hours on a 100 instance Amazon EC2 Hadoop cluster at a very low cost. In the technology field, we again have IBM with IBM ES2, an enterprise search technology based on Hadoop, Lucene and Jackal. ES2 is designed to address unique challenges of enterprise search such as the use of an enterprise-specific vocabulary, abbreviations, and acronyms. ES2 can perform mining tasks to build acronym libraries, regular expression patterns, and geoclassification rules. There are also many internet or social network companies using Hadoop, such as Yahoo, Facebook, Amazon, eBay, Twitter, StumbleUpon, Rackspace, Ning, AOL, and so on. Yahoo is of course the largest production user with an application running a Hadoop cluster consisting of approximately 10,000 Linux machines. Yahoo is also the largest contributor to the Hadoop open source project. Now Hadoop is not a magic bullet that solves all kinds of problems. Hadoop is not good to process transactions because it is random access. It is not good when the work cannot be parallelized. It is not good for low latency data access not good for processing lots of small files and not good for intensive calculations with little data. Now let's move on and talk about big data solutions. Big data solutions are more than just Hadoop. They can integrate analytic solutions to the mix to derive valuable information that can combine structured legacy data with new unstructured data. Big data solutions may also be used to derive information from data in motion. For example, IBM has a product called Infosphere Streams that can be used to quickly determine customer sentiment for a new product based on Facebook or Twitter comments. Finally, let's end this presentation with one final thought. Cloud computing has gained a tremendous track in the past few years, and it is a perfect fit for big data solutions. Using the cloud, a Hadoop cluster can be set up in minutes, on demand, and it can run for as long as is needed without having to pay for more than what is used. This is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. To learn more, visit bigdatauniversity.com.